Thank you, Joe, and good morning, everyone. Now, Joe just showed you how to do incredible things with Windows, from the little screen to the big screen. Now, I get the pleasure to show you how to do incredible things with Windows on no screens at all, with the same familiar tools and skills you already have. It's surreal being here today, less than 100 days since we mixed holograms with our world. Less than 100 days ago, we showed you how Windows Holographic amplifies what is human about each of us. Humans live in the real world, and we should not be confined to the virtual or just the digital. We experience life in three dimensions. We move, we see, and we hear in three dimensions. Our dreams, fantastical or entrepreneurial, start in the real world. Windows Holographic embraces this notion of experiencing life in three dimensions by mixing digital content right into your world, right into your life with more reality than ever before. Now, the truth of the matter is people, not devices, are mobile. And we are ready for technology to move beyond devices, to move beyond screens and pixels, and to move beyond today's digital borders. Now, in January, we showed you glimmers of this holographic landscape, glimmers of this more natural way of interacting with digital content. We introduced Microsoft HoloLens, the world's first and only fully untethered holographic computer. And I have to admit, we have been humbled by the outpouring of enthusiasm spanning from consumers to businesses. And the response we received from developers like yourselves has been remarkable. On behalf of the entire Microsoft team, thank you. We share your enthusiasm. And today, we take the next step in unveiling the Windows holographic platform. Focus on you, the dreamers, the creators, the Windows developers. So let's get started by taking a tour of Windows Holographic. And to help us with that, please help me welcome on stage one of the creative minds behind holograms, Darren. Hi, Darren. Hello, Alex. Now, before we start, let me explain the setup a little bit. Darren is wearing a HoloLens, and he sees this globe, globe we showed you in January right in his world. Now, we also have this custom camera rig over here so that you can see the holograms up on these screens as if the camera is wearing a HoloLens. Now, when we introduced Windows Holographic, the globe was just a slide. Today, Darren is experiencing it as a universal Windows app. And guess what? It's running on Windows 10. Welcome to Windows Holographic. This is Life with Holograms. And as you can see, Darren has customized his space. Instead of digging through menus, everything is right where he wants it. Yeah, whether it's Microsoft Edge, Photos, or video apps, these are simply universal Windows apps that we've placed as holograms. So, whether it's a slate on the wall, or something a little bit more dimensional, like my loyal companion Fang here, hey buddy, you can customize your space the way you want it. Now, I want to add something to my space. So, I'm going to pull up my holographic start menu, and I'm going to open up Skype. I'm the worst at keeping in touch. So I'm going to take the people that matter most to me and I'm going to pin them to this wall right here. That way every time I walk into this room I'll see their smiling faces and be inspired to reach out to them. We are all creatures of habit and we do different things in different spaces in our homes. This stage as an example is modeled after Darren's apartment. Yeah, and this is where I'd hang out in my apartment and surround myself with the applications that I want to access or, or just check out. Um, for example, I'm planning a trip to Hawaii in a couple weeks, so I placed this awesome weather app over here 
So when I'm moving around, I can easily glance at it, reference it, and understand what the weather's going to be like when I get there, hopefully still hot. Then if I look up here on the wall, to my left, I've got a video player. I simply reach out, air tap, and I'm right in the action. Now, what if Darren has things to do around the house? He shouldn't be confined to watching just on one wall. He should be able to take his entertainment with him anywhere and remain hands-free as he does it. Yeah, so all I need to say is follow me. Now wherever I go in my house, my entertainment tags along. All right. And where it gets where I'm going, I simply place it, and I can scale it as big as I want. Now, that's not something just a video player does. Every single Universal Windows app has the same capabilities. Uh, for example, I placed a calendar over here because as Alex will tell you, I'm late for pretty much every meeting. So this makes it, a guy like me, uh, makes it a lot easier for me to just check in and see what I've got coming up next. We're discovering uh, uses for holograms every day. We know with all you here at Build, putting your minds towards it, we're gonna be discovering new uses every second. I hope you have an inspiring time at Build. We'll see you out there. Thank you, Darren. As you just saw, holographic computing can seamlessly connect the digital world with real life. This mixed reality grants us permission to reinvent productivity by creating experiences not possible on any other device or any other platform. Back in January, we asked you to imagine an architect walking around their designs while clients reviewed them remotely. Now, the construction industry is a multi-billion dollar industry, yet many of their processes have remained unchanged. Over the past few months, we have had the great honor to partner with an organization that has been transforming the construction industry for over 60 years. So let's take a sneak peek at how holographic computing, enabled by Windows 10, is fundamentally changing how they think about architecture, construction, and collaboration. Architects are dealing with shapes and spaces and light, and they dream in 3D. And then you need to translate this design into a set of 2D documents. HoloLens presents a completely new paradigm. Trimble provides design solutions for architects and structure engineers. Anything that involves getting dirty is our business. Literally hundreds of enterprises can be represented on a job site. Today, the best way those companies have to interact with each other is uh, paper, paper drawings. But people aren't good at visualizing 3D. Microsoft HoloLens is a head-mounted, self-contained computer that lets you see holograms in the real world. You get the physical model as a, as a focus point for the team to collaborate around. And you get the hologram with the flexibility, with the ability to run quick iterations. You see how we've brought in the courtyard that you suggested? You see that mouse go off the screen and into holographic space, and you're then interacting with the hologram with the mouse. The thing that we can do for architects is really give them much higher confidence around decision making. One way we can do that is we can allow them to literally immerse themselves in the scene that they're building and see street side, how the building's going to look. Visualizing design data in the context of the real environment is a much better way to make sure that the design is implemented correctly on site. Microsoft HoloLens allows you to collaborate with somebody regardless of distance, like they were there. Hello there. Hey Igor, where they're trying to put this door, there's a beam behind here. I'm looking at this beam, we're interacting with it about a problem that we can see and being able to solve that problem with all the data that we need in front of us in real time. When I'm talking about Enterprise construction, I always compare it to people trying to make music together. Each one of them is contributing to the harmony, but they all should be completely sync. My gray hair says I've been doing this for a while. I've seen a lot of these uh, new things come and go. 
and I expect in five years we'll all be interacting with the world with this kind of technology. Holograms are already being sculpted by some of the most creative people around. Now with this ability to design and shape holograms, you have a new medium to express your creativity, to visualize your work and share ideas. Your digital creations become so much more relevant when they come to life in the real world. But that's just the beginning of what holograms can enable. Windows Holographic also provides you with a unique opportunity to change how you teach and learn in more effective ways. On January 21st, we asked you to imagine a surgeon learning a procedure without picking up a scalpel. Since then, we have partnered with an institution accustomed to thinking beyond the possible. And to show us what they have been up to, please help me welcome on stage Professor Mark Griswold from Case Western Reserve University and our team member, Michelle. Hi, Mark. Hey, Alex. Hi, Michelle. Good morning. Now, Mark is part of a team from Case Western and the Cleveland Clinic. We invited them to use Windows Holographic to advance medical education beyond what is possible with today's state of the art. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. Today we use a combination of cadavers and medical illustrations to teach students anatomy. This is a curriculum that hasn't drastically changed in over 100 years because there simply hasn't been another way. The mixed reality of the HoloLens has the potential to revolutionize this education by bringing 3D content into the real world. Now one of the biggest challenges for students learning anatomy is understanding the body in three dimensions and how all the different systems fit together. Using holograms, we can easily separate and focus in on individual systems. For example, we can focus in on the femur and students can immediately see some of the types of fractures they may one day encounter in the clinic. Now I can leverage all of these new capabilities while maintaining the important connection with my students. When we're both wearing a HoloLens, I can see what they're looking at, what they're interacting with, I can assess their progress, and they can communicate with me and each other naturally. For example, I can see if Michelle has a question in class, or whether Gwen has a question while learning remotely. Now obviously, a cadaver doesn't move. This makes it difficult to see the way a living body actually works. HoloLens doesn't have this limitation. Systems can be animated to easily see how things function. Let's take a look at the center of the cardiovascular system, the heart. It's an amazing organ. In reality, it's about the size of your fist. With HoloLens, we can easily scale up the heart to let students see minute details. We can even see inside the heart to see the valves in action. This is a new way of seeing things, and it has the potential to help students understand the structure and physiology of the body in a way that's just not possible today. Now what you've just seen is a vision of how HoloLens could enhance one single subject. But as an educator, it's easy for me to see that it's not just anatomy that could benefit from this technology. This could change how everyone learns. Imagine for a moment some of the other fields that could be changed. For example, chemistry and genetics, art, engineering, and paleontology. And the best part is, we get to help define that future together. I can't wait to see what you future holographic developers are going to do with this amazing technology. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you to our friends at Case Western and the Cleveland Clinic. From NASA JPL to Trimble to Case Western, these are just a few of the amazing partners we are actively collaborating with to transform different industries now that holograms have become part of our everyday life. Now I feel very fortunate to be in this moment in time. All the different pieces are starting to fall into place. As we enter this decade, the amount of processing power you can get into a small form factor 
for a reasonable price point is just staggering. Even in the last few years, as we developed HoloLens, the innovation in optics, sensors, and silicon has allowed us to move forward a few orders of magnitude. Now, people used to say, computers today can do enough. My apps run just fine. The internet runs just fine. What are we going to do with all of this extra computing power? And the answer to that is that we are going to put a different emphasis on it. New workloads focus on solving brand new problems. In other words, we are going to start using all of this power specifically to help us understand humans and the world around us. So how do you do this? With no wires, with no markers, no external cameras, with no phones, and no connection to a PC required. Let's learn a little bit more about this amazing, magical device that is Microsoft HoloLens. The hardware allows us to take these visions, these ideas about these new products, and make it all real. Imagine a computer that allows you to put your images anywhere, and you can interact with things as a combination of the real world and holograms. You have a bunch of different systems that need to come together in one big symphony. Every time you think you understand it, it's like peeling an onion. There's suddenly another layer of things which you suddenly realize, oh, yeah, of course, we have to figure that out now. We don't have room for error. We don't have room for drift. We don't have room for those normal things that happen in a device. So it's working with these people across the world and bringing it all together into this brand new product. We envisioned an all-in-one device that is untethered with built-in batteries, hands-free, and floating audio. You have to come up with a holographic processing unit because you're constantly producing data every single millisecond. Visor lens is so complex. While it looks very simple and pure, it needs to accommodate so many requirements to see progressive content. The audio components need to take in all of that information about where is my head, where am I looking, so that your brain knows that there's something real over there. The enclosure wraps around the user's head to provide great weight distribution. We have so many sensors on this product. To read all those in real time and to do that in a very power efficient way requires the power of what they developed with the new version of Windows. We need to get the hardware just right so that we can sort of unleash that creativity in the world. I think we have great ideas. I think when we get it out to developers, we're going to get hundreds of great ideas. And that's what Build Conference is all about, right? We want to get it out to people, show them, hey, this is real and this actually works. Now, see what you can do with it. With Windows 10, holograms, our universal Windows apps, and all universal Windows apps can be made to work on Windows Holographic. Everything you have seen here today is a universal Windows app. Developers, this opens up a new vein of innovation and a new vein of opportunity. With holograms, you'll have a new canvas to express your creativity. Your apps can come to life, and they can be experienced naturally in the world around you. But seeing is believing. So let's take a look at how portability of experiences, enabled by Windows 10, can change the way makers like you interact with the physical things that you build. And to show us mixing holograms with IoT, please help me welcome on stage my very good friend, Miko. Hey, Alex. Hi, Miko. I'd like you to meet B15. This year, millions of people will use maker kits like this one to enter robot competitions and learn about electronics. Many of them will use Raspberry Pi 2, which now supports Windows 10 IoT Core. We were inspired to see what we could do with the same hardware and HoloLens. So let me show you. B15, wake up. Up. <laughs> Say hello to the real B15. Because every Windows 10 device has APIs for human and environment understanding, we were able to overlay a holographic robot on top of a physical one. And one thing we noticed while working is, 
you need your data to be easily accessible. But adding displays to this frame increases your cost, and there's no way to see all that information at once. So let me show you how we check on our data. B15 control panel. This spatial UI system is a universal Windows app. I'm pulling the data from B15, making it as big as I need it to be, and placing it where it's relevant in my world. And I love it that Miko didn't have to actually go back to her desk to do it. This is a great example of how Windows 10 makes your digital life more powerful by connecting it with your real life. That's right. You can waste a lot of time tweaking variables on another device before you test. But if all I need to do is something simple like change LED color, I can use a control scheme like this. So that's how we envision controls and displays evolving with holograms. Now, so many industrial robots need to find paths safely through their workspaces. Let's take a look at how Miko can help B15 navigate and how holograms can help. So B15 sensors aren't great at detecting obstacles, but the cool thing is they don't have to be. My HoloLens can communicate that information. B15, pathfinding mode. Now with Windows Holographic, we can scan an environment. We can queue up movement tasks and visualize the robot's path. So all I have to do is air tap the ground. My HoloLens interprets the 3D points and tells B15 when to turn and when to move forward. Now this is a great example of how portable our Windows experiences can be. B15 didn't have to know its environment. The room understanding comes from Windows Holographic. But what happens when the environment actually changes? That's no problem. Because I'm wearing HoloLens, I'm always aware of B15. I can see it updated its route to go around you. And this is critical if you're working with bigger robots, like those in automotive manufacturing. You need to always be aware of a robot's intentions. HoloLens helps developers understand robots better at any scale or in any scenario. This is just amazing. Thank you so much, Miko. And nice to meet you, B15. B15, say goodbye. <laughs> See you later, Alex. Later, guys. Now, at some point in time, you get this feeling you could actually be creating something meaningful. But that feeling is materially different from seeing architects excited about it, from seeing doctors and professors excited about it, for seeing developers like you excited about it, people outside of Microsoft who start understanding the tools, who start understanding what they have in front of them, who start painting with this brand new palette and these brand new paintbrushes. It's humbling and it's exciting at the same time. It is in that spirit that we have brought hundreds of HoloLens devices, just like the ones you saw on stage today, all running on Windows 10, so that you, here at Build, can experience holograms for yourselves over the next few days. from holographic presentations featuring Skype to one-on-one -on -one demos like the Trimble experience I showed you earlier today and my personal favorite, our very own Holographic Academy where you'll be able to build your very first holographic experience from scratch. We have a lot to share with you this week here at Build. Now registration for all of this begins after the keynote. Space is limited, so make sure you sign up for all of these activities by going to the web or simply by using the Build app. The holographic journey starts with you, the Windows developers, and it starts right here and it starts right now. And with that, I want to thank you and let's welcome Satya back on stage. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. That's just magical stuff. Hopefully you 
get the essence of our ambition with Windows 10 when we say we want to move the users of Windows to move from needing Windows to choosing Windows to loving Windows. At the core of our company is empowerment, empowering us all. It's our mission to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And it starts by empowering every one of you, every developer on the planet. Thank you so very much for being here today and for being at this conference. I thought we will end today's morning keynote by playing the music that David composed for us this morning on StaffPad. Thank you and have a great rest of Bill. Thank you very, very much.